Hey Pebble Beach, it's Rock here. I got your feedback about you know my you know right elbow, you know the pocket here facing you know you know kind of up, and you wanted it more facing inward. Um, so what I had to do to do that is you know kind of rotate my shoulder joint, like internal rotation of my shoulder joint. What I have been doing was external rotation of my shoulder joint. So it's been kind of interesting out here. What I feel like it helps with is a couple things. One is with the internal rotation of the shoulder joint, I'm able to you know move my elbow in towards you know the midline of my body here. With external rotation, you know I couldn't get it in there. So a lot of these impact alignments that you want me to get are getting the elbow you know closer to the center line. So that was a big thing. The other thing it helps with is you know on the takeaway. You've been talking to me quite some time now to get you know get my hands you know inside the club head so you know what I've been doing is having it more like this and you want it more you know club head outside my hands club head or hands inside the club head so those two things are what it did for me um, the other changes making me do is you know I'm going to, you know, internal rotation is left shoulder joint also, so kind of internal rotation of both uh, shoulder joints and uh, seeing if I can get the club head outside my hands on my takeaway, so let's see what that looks like. So what I felt like on that one was the third one was the best one. So what I felt like is on the takeaway, trying to keep all that outside my hands, trying to keep you know, the internal rotation going. And then what it's enabled me to do, what it feels like is I can get more outside, you know, travel in my hands, feel like the counter. The uh, counter fall works a little bit better because now that with my shoulders kind of internal rotating, I'm not worried about getting my hands going out, so which means I can counter fall back more with my body. And uh, it's definitely uh, helping, buddy. Tried to uh, speed that up a little bit in fat, so let me try going back to uh, smooth again.
shot there, so you know, just float it up, float up the swing, swing it more, and try to nuke it. Uh, you know, that's been the issue this whole time whenever I try to really hit one. I'm not quite getting it, so let me try it one more time. I'm going to try to nuke one again. I just feel like I need to get over that hump somehow. Pebble Beach still shorter than the other ones. Didn't quite get everything to hold up uh, at full speed, but I definitely like the feeling of it. Getting, getting it a little bit out here instead of, you know, I, I felt like because I had a, sh you know, kind of a shut club face that, you know, I didn't have a lot of form rotation, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of seeing what you're saying. If I get the club out here instead of here, even the same basic club head, you know, shot. But there's a difference when you have it here, you know, it kind of breaks in like this. I can do the counter fall and get my hands out here a little bit better. Get, get my left and right arm to extend more fully through the shot. So it feels really good. It's been an interesting day working on that. I've had to make quite a few adjustments in my setup to get it to happen. Uh, appreciate all your help, buddy. And uh, let me see if I can get a couple drivers in. It's getting, you know, it's dark out, so it'll be cold. Uh, see ya. All right, Pell Beach, uh, same thing. Uh, get the uh, club at outside the hands on the takeaway. Get the uh, elbow pocket facing inward instead of you know, up towards the sky, facing towards the target. And uh, see if I can make the, get the driver to work uh, really well. Pebble Beach, that looked that felt real good there. That might be one we want to look at. Try another one. Pebble Beach, that one went down the right side of the fairway. Felt really good. I'm really trying to get that. You have internal, internal rotation instead of external rotation. Internal rotation on my shoulder joints. And I'm trying to get that counterfall to happen and not be worried about my 
arms get out here, really getting out of here. So the internal rotation is really allowing me to get my hands out here better. When I go external rotation, you know, I feel like I just can't get the arms out there. Um, so might be a huge find right there. Pell Beach, that one hit solid. I missed it big time right that time. But it hit real solid. Right, that was down the right hand side. Pretty good shot. All right, last ball. I'm going to try to uh, go ahead and try to nuke this one. Pill Beach that was uh, right down the pipe and long and that it was just drilled uh, felt like I got stuck slightly coming through I didn't quite get my arms to break free you know still got them you know felt like they got trapped back here a little bit but I just got to get that that counterfall just a little bit better we get those hands moving just a smidgen faster. It's just, uh, I don't know what it's going to take, but I'm, I'm working it. So just feel like. All right, Pell Beach, take a look at this. Uh, Two big things there. Get that pocket face in more internal rotation of shoulder joint. Seems like it minimized my form rotation. Because when I when I get the elbow in external rotation like this, you're right, at some point it's gotta turn. So I was trying to get it to turn, you know, post impact, but uh, you know, I think this might be a, I think this is gonna be better. First time working it, but get in here and have room for that elbow to get out in front of me. So the internal rotation, elbow can get way over here. External rotation, elbow can't get internal rotation. I got movement, so it really is freeing me up. I still got to get my hands elbows arms moving faster so they get out out there in front of me so it's probably going to be a combination of the counterfall getting more you know down force in this right leg getting it to finally break through break through the wall so uh thanks see you bye